Anyone else get the same feeling they did when Kylo Ren killed Snoke halfway through The Last Jedi? Just me? Alright then. I'm Mediocrity4 and this is my review for Ruby Volume 7 Episode 8. If you haven't seen the episode yet, you may want to before watching this review. My enjoyment of this episode is going to completely hinge on whether all the remaining episodes are action focused. If this was Watt's big final move to bring Atlas down, then it works. If the reason so many plot lines ended is because we're going to be fighting bad guys and monsters for the rest of the volume, then it works. But if there is a single slow scene, or any of the conflict ends before the final episode, then it doesn't work. And even so, if this episode works, then it's going to be hard keeping my interest through the rest of the volume. Jacques working with Watts, Ironwood keeping Amity a secret, Ruby and Co keeping Salem's immortality a secret, Watts and Tyrion staying in the shadows, Penny getting framed for the massacre, Atlas being framed for incompetence and or maliciousness, all of these plot lines and possibly more just got thrown out the window. The writers just didn't want to do any of the interesting stuff anymore, so now it's back to action. And that action better be damn good considering how much they skipped over in previous episodes. That's the thing. Whether tying things up like this works on its own, it kills the pacing. If they hadn't skipped the prior riots and grim attacks, all of this would be happening a lot closer to the end of the volume where it belongs. This grim attack would be in episode 10 or 11 and not episode 9, leaving four whole episodes to pad things out with action. But not only are all these plot lines resolved in quick succession, but the reactions don't leave a lot of room for growth. Ironwood is understanding of why Oscar kept Salem's immortality a secret, everyone is understanding about the importance of Amity, and everyone is really quick to turn on Jacques once Weiss plays the video of him and Watts. And this whole final battle is being predicated on nobody in Mantle having personal heaters. For all they know, the heating is just malfunctioning, or, you know, maybe the same person who hacked everything in the Vital Festival is hacking stuff again. Why is Atlas trying to freeze us to death their first response? This has been a constant problem since Volume 2. A civilization that has dealt with the Grim for their entire higher history would be naturally inclined to give the benefit of a doubt, if for no other reason than survival. Oh, and Cinder's here for some reason. Thought they'd save her for the finale, but good to know that the writers have absolutely no clue what they want Volume 8 to be about. This episode is another that's good in a vacuum and would have made for a great lead into the finale, but it's not. We got four episodes left, and I seriously doubt that the momentum is going to be maintained. I'm Mediocrity4, thanks for watching.